Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about at conf configuration annotation. So, specifically in this video, I'm going to talk about this at configuration. Why do we need this and what is that it solves? What is the problem it solves? So, before that, I just want to give you I've written a simple Hello World application and it has and from Spring 3.x Java config which are included in Code Spring, it allows developer to move all the bean definitions and Spring configuration out of XML file into Java class. So previously before Spring 3, so the XML file looks like this. You will have an XML file with beans and you can have bean definitions inside that. So similarly in Spring 3 you don't need a XML file at all. You can have the same bean definitions in a Java file itself. So under annotating a class with at configuration indicates that the class can be used by the Spring IOC container as a source of bean definition. I want to repeat. So whenever you mark a class as at configuration annotation, it indicates that this class can be used by the Spring container as a source of bean definition. That means this class is going to contain a lot of bean definitions like this. So at bean and the corresponding bean information. Okay. So at configuration is the replacement for the XML file. Prior to Spring 3, we were using XML file. Now we can use directly app config. Any any Java class with annotated with at configuration. So this is and this bean annotation tells Spring that a method annotated with the bean sh will be will return an object that should be registered as a bean in the Spring application context. Similarly, here we will have a bean definition and Spring container will create this object and it will register with the container. Similarly, here we will have a bean definition and this object will be registered in the Spring container. So this is what we are doing here. And there is annotation config application context. So this is a class responsible for loading this class which is annotated with add configuration and your context is ready. So we can give prior to this we were giving XML file here. Here now we are giving Java config class. So this is all about add configuration annotation. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.